You've heard my story. I told you that one time I was listening to Pat Robinson, the founder of CBN 700 Club, and very gentle but powerful man of God. I mean, they had a widespread grace for the word of knowledge in that ministry. Almost every one of the staff that I know, you know, operates in that grace. Welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV. On this channel, we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. And one day I heard the man speaking and he said as a young minister when he was about to start ministry that he prayed and he cried that God will give him three things. Number one, if I recall, he prayed that God would give him wisdom. Number two, he prayed that God would grant him favor. Number three, he prayed that God would grant him the anointing of the spirit. I said, this is it. I can see the glory in your life that reflects that those patterns have been kept i went back in the place of prayer and many other instances happened i prayed for favor for one month it was a february of that year from start to finish i said lord this is not something that came by default but i have studied from the end of my destiny you have shown me and as far as i saw at the time i said if i did not have the favor of god working in my life i may not be able to do my assignment effectively and i went to study the patterns that command favor when i found it i said this is it nothing showed at that time that it was found but hallelujah to jesus when you find it it speaks man of god listen to me Probably your prayer group or your ministry somewhere right now is struggling in a particular area. This message is an assignment, it's a call to go back. Listen, do you know, believers study, but we don't study patterns. We don't even know what we are looking for, so we don't even know when we found it. We just study and say, wow, anything that excites us. No, you don't do that. You isolate an area where you need to see the glory of God manifest. Then, for starters, you pray for guidance in the, in the spirit. And then you search for men and women who exemplify that dimension. And now, don't just get excited by the results. Here is what most people do. They hang around people with results and think hanging around is what produces the results. You see that now? Just because you snap with an anointed man does not make you anointed. You only implicate yourself for your destruction because you will now be elevated to platforms you don't have the grace to defend. And with shame, you will be reduced back to where you rightfully belong. Whenever you have access to men who have this result, your proximity should be an opportunity to do whatever it is scripturally within your means to get them to open you up to the patterns. Listen. When God gives you unusual access to great people, you would be unwise if all you do is celebrate the leverage. It is no leverage until the patterns are revealed to you. Learn this. Many of you have served great men of God. Many of you have served billionaires. Many of you served senators. And all you have are their photos. All you have are physical gifts they gave you. You didn't do well. Sir, so what took you from a local government chairman to a senator that regardless the antagonisms and without bribing you still remain show me a pattern and the man will tell you it started from my grandmother one day i took a cup of water to mama and she said kneel down she said i did not do well but i lay my hands upon you and i elevate you to be higher than me oh that is it see let me repeat it one more time please listen to me results do not happen by luck results are exact engagings or engagements of patterns the purpose of scripture is that you have access to these patterns scattered through scripture are patterns that correspond to various dimensions of the glory of god if you have found some Others have found quite some. But God is still counting on many who will find all. For instance, raising the dead is still a mystery across the body of Christ. 
do you know that I believe that there are times we will find these patterns and it will become as frequent as healing headaches? Is that true? Now you see sicknesses and diseases. As much as we desire with all our hearts to see people healed, it grieves my heart when I see people who were prayed for and did not get the kind of healing they desired. But th there were times in the Bible when the Bible would say Jesus healed them all. The disciples thought it was just by laying on of hands. They went to drag that epileptic patient, you remember? And they embarrassed themselves there. Nothing happened and they came to Jesus. They said, listen, we're frustrated. Why couldn't this happen? And Jesus told them, because of your own belief, this kind goeth not but by this and that and that. And Peter kept following. A time came when the shadow of Peter... You can see growth, measurable growth. The Bible says God wrought special miracles, Act 19, Acts chapter 19, by the hands of Paul, so that handkerchiefs and aprons that were taken from him were put upon the sick. Come on now. The ways of God is the secret that this generation needs. Listen, we have had sermons wonderful sermons commendably so we have heard songs we have heard recitations but it's time for a a, a manifestation and accurate communication of provable patterns patterns whose glory you can relate with so that we don't build on rubbles and shadows celebrating supposed remas that don't seem to have corresponding levels of glory because hear me the world that is coming in the next 10 years is not this world that you know it will be a world of precision and proofs let me repeat to you prophetically that the world that is that our civilization is evolving into are you seeing the level of accuracy that science is attaining onto with the manifestation of AI right now and all of these things there is exactitude and precision even in medicine except the church listen revival is threefold number one the individual number two the body of Christ then number three territories we are still in phase one where God is bringing an awakening to individuals because that's the pattern we see in the life of Gideon the first thing that happened was a personal revival for Gideon the Gideon pattern now. Then after Gideon was walked upon, he said, now go in this thy might. Gideon blew a trumpet and 33,000 of his men now came. And even among them, there was a pruning until they were left 300. And it was with those they went and defeated the Midianites. So the first thing God is doing is personal awakenings and revivals. Planting a hunger in people, young and old, from every nation and every territory. And what a joy God has mandated Africa and even Nigeria. Every continent has sounded their shofar. We're about to hear the shofar that comes from Nigeria. And my goodness, and Africa, it will be loud and clear. We may not export oil, we may not export other technological products, but we are exporting the spirit with power, with proof. We are exporting superior dimensions of the spirit. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. It is only a revived man that can cause revival. It is only a transformed man 
that can bring transformation. It says, such as I have, give I. So when we talk about awakenings and revivals, many of us are just thinking going to the nations. No, you go to the nations without miracle working power. You go to the nations broke and hungry and tired. No, allow that which you want to import to work in your life first. Then you will come with confidence. 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 The things we have seen, the things we have heard, it says that which our hands have handled, even of the word of life, that is what we preach. Now you can stand and tell a generation, we have not brought you cunningly devised fables. Listen, we're about to pray. I want to ask you a few questions. Question one, is it true that God walks through men? Don't just answer, think about it. Can the God of the universe actually hold the hands of a mortal man and walk with that man? I was speaking some time ago with a consultant who was telling me, please sit down. The consultant was telling me some of the advancements that have happened in medicine. And based on what he told me, here's what he said, that right now, using the power of the internet, a doctor from somewhere can actually be performing surgical procedures without being there physically using the power of robotics and all of that you know I said wow that just reminded me that the God of heaven can find expression through the hands of mortal men so you see possibilities that are beyond the man and you know that there must be a mighty God producing this I ask you again is it true that the God of the heavens whom the heavens cannot even contain, that he can literally live, speak, and walk through men. Do you believe it is possible? Yes. Question two, do you believe it can happen with you? Yes. That these hands can literally the hand of Jehovah can rest upon an ordinary man's hand and you will command possibilities that these lips of clay as frail as they are his majesty can echo his voice and everyone in Zion can hear and know that he's the one speaking I'm asking you a question do you believe he said great is the mystery of godliness that God can become a man Ladies and gentlemen, this was a revelation that the fathers caught. Today it is a theological debate in the church. Was never meant to be so. Is it true that God can live through men and manifest provable possibilities in their lives? How do you keep speaking and people are shouting up and down? Are you a herbalist? By what mechanism? My strings man is not here.
listen to me. Hear me. My call tonight is that you leave the realm of shadow boxing. There is a higher dimension in the spirit. A dimension where all of you becomes a mysterious manifestation. An unfolding of this glory. That Shekinah glory through your life. Possibilities that cause men to wonder. And you see, every time men look at you and they think you are so great, then you remind them that we are only ordinary men defended by the jealousy of a great God that he stands behind us as a mighty, terrible one. This is what is making you become a mystery to many, a sermon to many, a challenge to others. That your life becomes an effulgence. Did we not read about this man in the Bible? Did they not carry the power of God from nation to nation? It's not by empty grammar and speaking. No, we bring the possibilities of the kingdom provable realities demonstrating the ministry of the spirit here and now oh it's time to rise it's time to rise it's time to shake that shake that all you shake that all you Shake the powerless you, shake the canal you, shake the flesh you, shake the sense driven you, rise to the realm of the spiritual. Hallelujah. I want you to sing for me a song. The atmosphere is changing now. For the spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is on. Hallelujah. This man looking at me, lift your hands. I saw fire coming upon you. That man, I stretch my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus, you are drinking of the wine of the spirit. Let it open you to a new face. A new face. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What does it take to walk in the power of God? What does it take to be a conduit releasing the possibilities of the spirit to the nations? What does it take to bring the counsel of Jesus to the nations? What does it take to be an epitome of the blessing of the Lord? What does it take to find favor with God and with men? The answers to these and more are shrouded in this mystery called the ways of God. He can show men his ways. We can feast on the patterns of the spirit and with them manifest wonders in this life. Prayer point number one, Father, open my eyes. Open my eyes, open my eyes. Someone cry to your maker. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Open my eyes. He said, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things. Zaria, are you praying? Abuja, are you praying? Koinonia Global, cry. You may be a man of God. 
an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist. Hear me, we are in the days of his power. There is a mighty awakening across the nations of the earth. Open my eyes. Show me the keys to kingdom wealth and prosperity. Open my eyes. Show me the keys to operating the healing anointing. Open my eyes. Show me the keys to restoration. Spirit, I will rise from the ashes.